guys welcome back my line infantry we are back again with the 12 battles of christmas with our linear rematch and this one is called a bridge too far yes last time we beat uh this guy back with our lovely flanking mover maneuver on the left that tied more and more troops into this region before breaking them around the other flank and coming and swarming the middle. Now, I didn't want to do exactly the same tactic. I knew he'd be prepared for that. So instead, we went for a slightly different tactic of coming across this way, across the three bridges. But is that going to be a bridge too far? Now, this battle is glorious. It is great fun. Um, and it is, of course, uh, a big battle with a lot of ebb and flow. And it really goes to show the ebb and flow you can get with Napoleon. Because at one point in this battle looks dead certain uh, a win. And then at one point it looks dead certain a loss. And then it looks like a win again. And then we don't know. And uh, no spoilers, but we'll see at the end. It's a glorious uh, uh, example of a Napoleon Total War online battle. We have exactly the same army composition. So if you haven't seen the other battle already, go and check that out and subscribe down below just to see uh, what the army compositions were. But we are going around the right flank here at Lin Yi. You can see our artillery raining fire down on theirs. Now, the howitzers I have found are very, very bad at anti-artillery fighting. And you can see, look at that. He's already destroyed this farmhouse down to 52%, uh, just with a few shots. And he's going to be using that tactic very, very early on here to try and destroy all our glorious farmhouses, uh, which we can't really do with howitzers. Now, howitzers are great anti-personnel. But you can see, they are just not good at beating artillery. If we had a 12-pounder foot artillery, I would have hoped that they would have taken out one cannon already. Uh, but a howitzer, no, by no means is a good unit for taking out artillery. And you can see our chasseur is already down to 88 because I've been focusing on moving these troops over here again. Uh, my micro in Napoleon Online is still not great. It still needs work. Um, I'm generally good with the tactics and pushing and stuff, but the micro sometimes can be a bit too intensive for my skill level at, at points for what I actually want to do. So um, I definitely need to improve my micro going forward uh, if I want to play this. But do let me know in the comments down below whether you fancy uh, a few more of these Napoleon Online battles on the channel because you can tell I absolutely love Napoleon Online. I know I said that last time. Uh, it's one of my favorites. Oh, my days. Look at that. Look at that. That was some glorious shots there. Taking out... Oh, my God. The Dragoons are down to 34 already. That was brutal. Brutal fighting there. Brutal. Um, you can see we have managed to get our guys out of this farmhouse. But here he goes again. Targeting the other farmhouse and the other. And that is really going to hamper our forces. Look, we lost so many men in that. And I'm just too busy worrying about this side to even pay attention. So terrible micro from me there once again. But we are getting... The men out. The one good thing is though, once he's uh, destroyed the buildings, he can't really target my men because they're behind the buildings. Um, and yeah, the, the six pounder horse artillery as well is not going to do huge amounts of damage to my men by themselves. And you can see we're pushing his cavalry. He did pop his cavalry over into this bridge, over this bridge, but we are going to come forward and start firing at them like we saw last time. The glorious chasseurs are very, very good at firing into the enemy and taking out enemy horsemen without having to engage them in melee. But you can see he's going to push with his highland foot. It's just a good tactic by him, uh, but we're just going to take a few more pot shots before r running away. And a lot of us were kind of behind this hill as well, so it's not even going to make that much difference if he does get a couple of volleys off anyway. Um, and he's still moving his troops, which just takes a bit of extra time as our elite troops on this side, our two old guards, our young guards, and our 6th Regiment d'Enfantry Legere that did amazing last time are on this right flank. And we are going to bring them forward as well. As you can see, he's still absolutely shredding these buildings. We're going to bring our chasseurs forward to try and take some pot shots, but I don't think they have the range quite yet. And we didn't get the same glitch we had last time where they wouldn't fire upon the enemy. So that's one good thing. 
I have brought one Swiss foot across this way because I saw he was going for the flanking maneuver that we went for. But in fact, he didn't actually even go for it. Uh, if I was him, I probably would have fully committed this side because there's only two units defending this side. I know he could think that there are some hidden in these trees, but there's only this chasseur and a Swiss foot. It still would be bloody going across here, but if he decided to run his cavalry across, then follow up with infantry, he could definitely push through that flank and completely fold us in on ourselves here and crush us against the river. But um, fortunately, he doesn't do that, and we go for a bit of a charge instead with our elite infantry once again. I'm pretty confident that we can beat back his rifles and his Highland Foot, the glorious Highland Foot. Here they are, looking absolutely stunning in their uniforms there. Those. That might be the uh, that might be the uh, screenshot. Um, how do we do this? I think it's F five, isn't it? No. How do I do the uh, screenshot? I've forgotten on Steam. F twelve. There we are. Look at that, glorious. Yeah, I like that. I like that. But we'll have a look. We'll see whether we can find any more for the thumbnail. That might not be the thumbnail. But what you can see we're doing here is we just have our 6th uh, Regiment d'Enfantry Leger just taking pot shots at the rifles just out of the range of the Highland Foot here, firing at his rifles. So we should be winning that engagement. We're also getting a few shots off on the back of these Highland Foot, uh, which is great for us. Uh, as you can see, we're targeting down the King's German Legion Foot. And he realizes the... Uh, um, the sort of uh, uh, knife edge situation that he's on here and he brings his King's German Legion foot up here But we'll come back to that in a second as for now in the middle. We are just targeting down some troops. Oh God damn it, bro big shots big shots going off there big shots Fantastic. Let's have a look. Oh He does not like that the Connaught Rangers are gonna retreat but we're going to go for a little bit of a sneaky tactic here. As you can see, we bring our 6th Regiment, D'Enfantry Leger, forward. And they are going to take the majority of the volleys from the Highland Foot here. While we move our Old Guard forward and our Old Guard on that side and our Young Guard on this side. So that we can come forward and destroy the enemy. And you can see these guys in general are firing uphill. So they shouldn't really fire into the back of my Old Guard as well. They might do a little bit. But they shouldn't do too much. And we are just going to put the absolute pain down upon these men. Oh, look at that as well. Now, that is a screenshot. And a half. Firing across the river. Look at that. Glorious battles going on. Let's see whether we can get a good shot over here. That's not quite as good. But you can see people routing already. I like that. There we are. Uh, people routing already. And you can see we're bringing our cavalry around the far flank. And we're going to make a little bit of a micro error as well. But our old guard are standing firm. So are the old guard on this side. This uh, King's German Legion foot's behind. But it's not actually doing anything right now. Not firing in. I think you could get away with having a double stacked line infantry here because you're firing across there without too many losses. Um, but of course, our old guard are just going to shred this Highland foot. And you can see another bit of a micro error there. I didn't recharge my men. He got the charge off on me. And that's going to do a bit of damage to us over this side as well. But we are just shredding through his Highland foot. You can see the difference. 126 versus 85. Uh, these uh, elite infantry of the French are just so strong. So strong. This one's taken a bit of damage, but the other ones are fine. Uh, and he is going to retreat. And first things first, we need to beat back the Dragoons as we get into the fight. Very loud over here. I don't even know whether you can hear me right now. But you can see. Oh, and they just... Point blank shot the Dragoons in the back as they were running away. This Highland Foot's going to go as well. Going to leave. And you can see the 6th Regiment, D'Enfantry Leger. The absolute boys, the absolute giga chads of the French army are just going to charge across the river because they don't give a fuck. 
They do not give a fuck. They are crazy bastards. They are going to go after the enemy no matter what. And you can see we are pretty damaged with our elite troops here. As more and more howitzer shots rain down upon the enemy. Um, and we still have enough to defend this center here. So I wasn't too worried about the center. But you can see he's shifting most of his troops across to the right there. A lot of troops. But he still has loads left. And at this point, it seems kind of like, even though we've beaten them back from this bridge, we have so many troops that it's, uh, uh, that he has so many troops that it's going to be a big battle to get through. And you can see this is a great move by him, getting his Dragoons in there. I tried to form square with my old guard, but unfortunately there was still like one unit like on the bridge here. And when they're on the bridge, they can't form square, even if it's just one person. So just like one guy stopped us forming square there, which is very annoying as we're fighting off another Light Dragoon. Our, ch our cavalry is has done really well. We do still have one cavalry over here, uh, but they're not quite uh, going to get in on the action quite yet uh, as this young guard stays out of the fighting of the Dragoons. Now, we really needed to beat them back so that we could uh, fight this Dragoons. But as you can see, we lost one of our units in that they ran away. Uh, I believe, oh no, or maybe there's only, th I thought they ran away, maybe they ran away earlier, you can see we go for the charge on the Highland foot, try and get him so that he can't go in square, he does form square there, but that allows us time to form our lines here, which is great, and we know once we're in line, we should be able to destroy uh, the enemy troops quite easily, Um this guy is not in a good position, actually. He can't actually see over the side. Same with most of these guys. So we came up forward uh, to try and put more power down upon the enemy with our elite troops here. Elsewhere, we are still just holding. And I was really just kind of probing this side. I wanted to break through. Uh, but two units is just not going to be enough to do that breakage there for us. Um, I was contemplating charging across here, but the foot uh, is a bit of a problem. And I probably, at this point, I was so focused on this right flank, as you can see. Uh, we destroyed that King's German Legion foot there after they charged us. Um, I was so focused on this right flank that I really, I really kind of ignored the middle. And if I was clever, I should have gone for an assault there. Uh, but it looks like we are going for the assault now. You can see we're going to take some serious damage as we assault across the river. Here they come, the Swiss foot, the glorious Swiss foot, going for the charge. As my elite troops reform their lines. But you can see, look at the amount of troops he's got left over here. These are really, really large units against some of our really small units. And I know these are elite, but are they going to be able to put up much fight against these guys? And our cavalry is kind of down to the last men. So at this point, I was still confident we could go for the victory. Uh, but um, it's going to start to ebb. It's going to start to ebb and it's going to start to flow uh, away from us very soon. At this point, I was still confident. But a lot of, uh, yeah, you can see this elite force is just starting to crumble now. They have fought for so long. And they are just about to run out of ammo. And that is going to be a major issue for us because their main power comes from the ammo that they have we did manage to force them in square there and you can see these guys no longer firing because they have no ammo left even though they do do the uh, reload animation when they run out of ammo i don't know why that is i'm surprised they've never fixed that honestly uh, but yeah they're gonna go for a glorious charge here they go into the squares of the enemy come on the men and we go for a charge with this old guard as well. 33 men uh, as we charge across the river in the center here. So at, the, at this moment in time, I was feeling quite confident. I don't know why it thinks that the King's German Legion foot have the massive advantage here. Makes no sense whatsoever. But this foot is really going to come and put the power down on us uh, in the middle. As... Oh! Oh! Glorious! Another screenshot taken. <laughs> As we charge this foot in the center. Now, this is crucial here. This is crucial. If we could push through this unit 
and form lines here, we would win the battle. But we're going to see whether that happens. We're charging uphill against British Foot, which are a very decent unit. And yeah, we had a bit of a problem there. So, and you can also see we are in range of that canister shot now, which is just shredding some of our men. So we really had a bit of a problem here. I needed to get my chasseurs along the way uh, and away from the enemy. And we went for the charge on the foot, but you can see one of our Swiss foot has already broken as we go for the final charge. And our elite flanking force finally crumbles in the melee there. They were just too broken uh, to really do anything else. Um, and you can see, I'm still confident though. We still have two units of Swiss foot in this building against their foot. More men. Um, and we have this chasseur. We have these guys. But it's just too much to overcome, I think. And you can see the ebbs and flows of a Napoleon Total War battle because five minutes ago when we were here, there was no way that I thought we could lose this. Uh, but he's managed to regroup well and defend very well as we've come across the river. Ultimately, this move of charging across the river cost us the battle, definitely. Because if we hadn't have done that, we would still have had two fresh Swiss foot units until the end of the game. Uh, end of the battle. But um, this this move as well has proved very costly. You can see the amount of Swiss foot we lost trying to take this building. And if we'd have had maybe 12 pounder artillery rather than howitzers, uh, we might have fared a little better. And you can see we just crumble all at once as our general has died there. Um, so a big crumbling of our army. We s suddenly go from certain victory to certain defeat in a couple of minutes and that's what I love about Napoleon is just that ebb and flow and the ability that even though we crushed his right flank initially of our enemy British we absolutely destroyed him we pushed him back with minimal losses for us and a lot of losses of units for them as you look at the fields of dead across this battlefield um, by the time we got to here uh, uh, we no longer could crush them. He brought in new troops. And ideally, I should have tried to tie in the center earlier, I would say, uh, to give relief to these guys. Uh, but I just expected them to just be able to shred through the enemy, which they did. They probably shredded two units each, which is really impressive. But getting when it got to the third, it just became a bit too far, uh, as we are going to see my chasseur to have a few final shots, pot shots at the enemy, and my general... Just charge the Connaught Rangers. Not something that many people survive charging the Connaught Rangers. Uh, but my general's already dead. So there's no chance he can uh, survive this one anyway. There are the Connaught Rangers. The 88th foot. A very famous unit. And we do have our howitzer still. But everyone else is dead. And they're going to fight to the bitter end. Because there is a, there is a chance... If you're ever in this situation, guys, and you have howitzer le howitzers left, there is still a chance you win this if he only has infantry. Uh, I have had a battle. It's on the channel. Check out uh, the Napoleon Total War online battles. It's, it's in a playlist called Online Battles if you do enjoy these. Check out those battles, guys. Uh, there is one where we literally won because our howitzer at the end just landed a shot in the middle of like three units they had left and just exploded like 30 men and they all routed. Um, I think it was us or it might have been the other way around like we lost that way. I can't quite remember. But it's always worth just keeping on fighting and not just charging these guys in for nothing right at the end. But let's speed it up. I do love Napoleon Total War Online. It is fantastic. It is so fun. Um... And it's just that. It's that ebb and flow that we've talked about that really, really does uh, make me love it. I tried to get these guys on canister shot, but unfortunately, I put them in this position because they're safe from getting shot by the enemy cannons. Uh, and they wouldn't fire into the mountain because they're howitzers. But of course, when it came to canister shot, they ended up just firing into the side of the mountain and not at the enemy. <laughs> so, but we wouldn't have won anyway. I think even if we got canister shot on those guys, he would have still beaten them. He's got enough troops to defeat us. But look at that. Pretty even amount of enemies killed once again. Literally only four in it between us. I killed four more 
But he just started with more men in. It was just that overwhelming numbers advantage that really played heck with us today. Um, but yeah, 1,380. We definitely lost more men. So we did... Oh my god. So we did a lot of friendly fire. Almost 300 friendly fire there. That is kind of obscene, really. <laughs> but let's organize by kills again. Old guard again, as we would expect. The old guard, the two old guard units and the young guard did fantastically well. You can see they killed 200, like nearly 600 between those three units, which is just obscene. The howitzer did really well again, 163. That's why we took it. Swiss foot doing okay, uh, but some of them not so well. The chasseurs doing fine as well. Uh, not quite as good movement of the chasseurs in this one as the last battle. And you can see these normal chasseurs did terribly they they just didn't have chance to get into the battle and they were killed a lot of them inside the buildings themselves there but that was fine great fun anyway and i hope this has given you a little bit of extra christmas cheer around christmas time guys and i hope you've enjoyed it so thank you very much for watching merry christmas to you all make sure you subscribe like and comment down below and i will see you all again on the next video